Thanks for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff today. Today I wanted to show you guys the storage setup that I have. Uh, right now I'm running one of the latest versions of Unraid. I have uh, dual parity enabled and it's mostly consisting of a couple of three terabyte hard drives that I picked up from Newegg over time. In terms of hardware, I'm actually running an embedded Intel Celeron setup. It's one of those uh, J1800 CPUs. I chose this because it's incredibly low power. I think under idle conditions, usually it's somewhere in the 40 watt range for the entire system, so that's pretty good. In terms of cooling, I'm actually only cooling this setup with one of my older 80mm fans. I found that the second one I actually didn't even need, I uh, wasn't really pushing that much air anyways. The, ba the main benefit to the integrated Celeron setup is that the amount of heat that it generates is just incredibly low. In terms of the power, I just have an EVGA 650 watt P2. Power supply is a little bit overkill, but since this server is going to be on 24-7, I wanted to make sure that I got something that was efficient. Uh, this is a platinum rated 80 plus power supply. Also the wattage should help when the system boots and all the hard drives spin up. When they first spin up from being off, there's kind of a surge in the amperage required. so. Uh, definitely want to have a little bit of extra headroom there. In terms of storage, I'm using an IBM M1015 RAID card. These are pretty much perfect for unraid setups. You can flash these to the IT firmware, and what that does is it removes all of the RAID functionality. So this card is basically just a port expander at this point. Here's a view of the RAID card. It's sitting in the only PCI Express slot. And here are the drives connected. Right now I've only got uh, five three terabyte drives. With the dual parity setup, I'm only using three of them as data. So I've got about nine terabytes that are usable. Now if you're wondering why the server is actually at the bottom of my rack, it's because this particular Narco, I think the, I wanna say the RP, C460 actually is too wide. Uh, when I got this I kind of discovered that uh, on each side it's two to four millimeters too wide. So I tried a bunch of different rail kits, um, the Narco Ones, iStar, all of the other popular brands, but I actually wasn't able to get any of them to fit. So I had to mount this basically on the bottom so it doesn't slide out or anything. In the near future I'll be looking to move into probably another 4U server case. It'll be one of the Rosewill RSVL 4500s I think, possibly the 4000s, and I'll probably be mounting it with some of the iStar rails. If you guys have any questions definitely feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, definitely go ahead and give it a like if you're interested in seeing more tech videos and crypto mining guides, definitely get subscribed.